pointed it out a million times. Anyway, Captain Jenks was really busy during the hurricane, and he's very good because he gets on these shows, and you know they think he's either a uh, an official of some kind. And he starts to give official information, and he does it in a very commanding way. Do you know that sometimes when I'm listening to the news in the middle of a disaster, I really wonder if that's an expert. You know, when right. they say, this is fire chief, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, is that really the fire chief? Or is that Captain James? <laughs> We're going to be joined now on the phone by Mark Mercer with Virginia's Emergency Management Department. Mark, give us an overview of the situation in the Commonwealth. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Um, what is the evacuation situation there in the Commonwealth? Well, obviously, if you're in building on a, on, on a high rise um, and there was damage to the building in some fashion uh, during the earthquake, then it's best to evacuate uh, only because there could be aftershock. And as t you know, as time goes on, that diminishes, but the aftershock could be just as strong as the earthquake itself. And what about, we understand that Terminal A at Reagan was evacuated. Can you give us an update on the airports? Yes, well, there wasn't an earthquake. It was a loud fart by Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've apparently, um, this, these are one of those prank calls that come in at times. It's unfortunate you that think? people do this sort of thing. Um, but let's move back to some of the correct information that we do have. Wow. Uh... He made a bunch of these if you want to hear him. of the tri-state area is in the middle of the storm now welcome back to our continuing eye on irene coverage i'm don daler with cindy Shu. it's getting really nasty out there it really is we just see it in the reporters who are covering all over the yeah. area also we're getting some great information on the phone right now we have dennis mikulski director of the office of emergency management great for New York information City. good morning Good morning, how are you? We're well, thank you. Um, you know, we were just speaking with Marsha Kramer, who was saying the next big decision by uh, OEM for this area is going to be the, whether the bridges are going to close or not. Would you bang Howard Stern? All right, there, there's a prankster in every event like this, and uh, some people live for those moments. It's how they get their jollies. Very unfortunate. Oh, my goodness. No answer on that one. And what does she look like? <laughs> I'd like to know if she banged me or not. Not on, not never. Not in the middle of hurricane coverage. You can't ask me that. I love when they do their speech. It's always, this is very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it? they live for these moments. We're about to get some very good information. Uh, would you bang <laughs> Howard Stern? He was all over the place. This is uh, Channel 3 in Philadelphia. At least they've changed. You know, in the beginning, they used to give Jenks these long lectures about how this was not the time for that. Right. <laughs> They'd given up on that. <laughs> Evidently, there is no occurrence that he is left out of. Joining us on the phone is Tom Foley. He's Atlantic City's Emergency Management mm -hmm. Coordinator. Tom, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. We had Robin <laughs> Regal report down there from just a little while ago. Can you give us the latest? Well, we should be letting the evacuees back in sometime Monday afternoon into early evening, uh, provided there are safe conditions. No down trees, no flooding, no rumbling from Howard Stern's butt crack. Well, uh, it seems like we really uh, dodged a bullet as well when it comes to that storm. I don't think, you know, it, do we Do we really have, is this Tom Foley? No, I don't, I don't think so. Let's come <laughs> let's get Sherlock. No let's, shame, come Sherlock. let's come back here. We apologize for that. We uh, evidently had someone come through that wasn't supposed to come through every now and then. No shit, like she didn't even miss him. Uh, she's she like, was like, yeah, we really dodged a bullet with that storm, didn't we, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say, Howard Stern's Not asshole? Rumblings from Howard Stern's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he goes, no shit, Sherlock. I don't know if that, this is Tom Foley. <laughs> And then he got on in Raleigh, Durham. I don't even know how Captain Jenks hooks it. Yeah, how does he even know the number down there? I don't know. It's a lot of work. Well, we have Ernie Seneca on the line with State Emergency Management talking about what folks on the Outer Banks who decided to ride out this storm need to do. Uh, and maybe not do. Thank you so much for being with us, Ernie. Uh, give us uh, the lowdown and just break down what you want folks there to know. Yes, well, right now on the Outer Banks, we have over 120,000 homes without power. So if you are home, and I think we got everybody evacuated, the best thing to do is to go to the highest point in your home, maybe an attic or something. The water's going rising exponentially and we don't know how high it's going to get. Uh, the storm was caused by a blast of wind from Howard Stern's asshole. Mm. It just went dead. It's the last thing you heard. Where did they go? 
They'll be back. And just continue to talk about uh, what we're waiting on, and that is a FEMA uh, briefing. Yeah, they hit some sort of delay, I guess. I guess, yeah, they must have yeah. knocked him out. Yes, the storm was called by a blast from Howard Stern's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for a call from FEMA. Uh, yeah. <laughs>